Have you ever noticed when you go the farthest is when you're the closest to your dream? You just gotta stay focused through the turmoil. Hi, I'm Joseph Couillet, New Orleans born, Harlem based, artist, designer, and educator. And I'm Shawnee Peters, originally from Lansing, Michigan. I've been teaching, making art, and making space in Harlem for the past 14 years. Together, we co direct with Black School. These three eyes have seen it all. Seasons coming in, they go. Tune in for another. An experimental art school teaching Black POC students and allies to become radical agents of change in their communities through art and design workshops based in Black radical histories and public projects that address local community needs. All of our programming is designed around our core principles, black love, wellness, and self-determination. Through the exhibition of this lyricism and got more Since 2016, we've served nearly 400 students, facilitated over 100 workshops and classes, produced three black love fests, trained and employed 16 design apprentices, and partnered with over 50 organizations. We're grateful for the support the Black School has received thus far, like our recent feature on Beyonce.com's directory of Black-owned businesses, and support from Project Row Houses, The New Museum, The Bow House, The Bronx Museum, Studio Museum, The Laundromat Project, A Blade of Grass, The Chicago Architecture Biennial, and Parsons, The New School of Design, among many others. With this foundation, we're now working towards our ultimate goal of moving back home and building a radical black art school in New Orleans 7 <laughs> It's our own family histories which actually grounds us in this work. My father taught black studies in Michigan for 50 years and has a legacy of hundreds of students, including me, who he impacted deeply. And I grew up understanding who I was. You know what I'm saying? After returning to New Orleans from World War II, my grandfather, Joseph Pouillet Sr., earned his bachelor's in education from HBCU Xavier University, back when the city didn't even hire black teachers. Years later, in 1989, Lincoln High, previously known as Rosenwald High, where he taught and later became principal, was actually renamed in his honor. We started seriously planning our move to New Orleans about four years ago when we found out we were pregnant with our daughter. Um, we were already making frequent trips to see family and the idea to establish our own building we just go from there. We're already started programming with Xavier University where a lot of Joe's family went to school. And we have official plans to partner with the New Orleans African American Museum, the New Orleans Museum of Art, the Community Book Center, and in town. The school is based on a workshop model designed to teach critical thinking and civic engagement through art making. After answering the questions, what do you love about your community? And what do you want to change about your community? Participants address the community issue using an art making skill. We start with knowledge of self and love of community. The Black School Studio is an art and design firm which you train youth in paid apprenticeships to execute real world client work with the long-term attention of self-sustaining our programming through Earn Rep. This programming not only prepares Black and Brown youth for practical, well-paying creative careers, it also equips them with the political consciousness and activist tactics to become change makers. Finally, Black Love Fest is a free one-day celebration that allows us to publicly share student artwork back with the community. It includes art exhibits, music performances, installations by professional artists, food, vendors, and workshops. The festival is where we really get to demonstrate on a large scale the vision of the world we want to live in, a world centered in Black love. The structure will be complete with workshop spaces, a media lab to house TBS studio, a gallery, a reading meditation room, a kitchen, an artist in residence space, and an open access community garden. Imagine being in a school designed by artists where the school is the artwork and the classrooms feel more like meditation spaces than the prisons so many of our schools are built like today. So what do we need? For phase one, we need to raise our first 60K to purchase land, conduct participatory design workshops with local partners and community members, and produce architectural drawings in collaboration with a local black architect and an internationally recognized sustainable architecture firm. We'll use new architectural technologies like modularity and upcycling, 
for promoting community built black radical learning spaces, as well as low cost solutions to housing displacement. For phase two, we need to raise 140K for permits, building materials, and construction. For phase three, we need to raise the last 100K for equipment, for early programming like furniture design workshops, and to begin staffing. So we ask, do you want to be a part of a radical shift in education and support Black institution building? If so, you can help by donating and sharing our campaign with your networks.